In this video, we'll protect an Excel spreadsheet that we want to sell to a customer. Here's our spreadsheet. We'll start by preparing it by pasting in some VB code within this file that comes with the Office Protect product. Once we put that into our spreadsheet, we'll define a license, a product license with Quick License, and then we'll open up the Add License tool to apply that product license and an icon file to our spreadsheet and the output of that will be a protected EXE ready to be delivered to a customer. We'll then experience the customer activation process by launching that EXE. We'll start by preparing our spreadsheet. Let's open the VBA code that comes with Office Protect. We'll do a select all and a copy command. Make sure line wrapping is not enabled or wrapping. And We'll open up the spreadsheet. You probably want to hide and protect some of the important calculations in the spreadsheet. We'll then go to our developer panel under the Visual Basic tab, this workbook, and we'll paste in that VBA code. Finally, we'll select VBA properties, and under the protection panel, we'll lock it from viewing by entering a password. Once that done, we is done, we can save out our spreadsheet and close it. Now we'll launch the quick license application and define a simple product license. Let's start by going to the setup dialog and defining a folder where our generated ticket file will get placed. And we'll just use that same spreadsheet folder that contains our other documents. We can click the pick folder to uh, locate that folder path if we need to. Once we've done that, we'll open up a new license or create a new license. Uh, first, we'll in the product column uh, for the first unused row, we'll select the product column and enter a name for our license. We'll also have a uh, version number and a security code, which we'll see how that's important later. We'll click on the first column of that row, and that presents the license dialog where we can find all the information about that specific license. Let's just give it a name, and we'll set the master ticket of new records checkbox, assign it to a specific group, master tickets. This license is a product license that once activated will never expire on that computer, so we'll click the uh, never timeout checkbox, allow same computer reactivation checkbox. So if they uninstall, install later, try to activate again, it'll allow that on that same computer. We'll also set the show runtime errors checkbox. And finally, we'll go to the activation panels, set activation required, machine calculated, for the purpose of testing, let's make it easy to uh, type in an activation code by just having it match the request number shown in the activation dialog. So we'll just change this calculation like that. We'll now go to the reset panel and set reset enabled. So we can do a manual reset on that license if ever needed. And finally, we have all the information set up for this particular product license. So we'll click the make ticket button and it generates a ticket file. We can now quit out of our quick license application. And we see we now have a ticket file generated into our spreadsheet folder. Now let's apply our license and icon to the .xlsm spreadsheet file. We'll do that by opening up the add license tool. We'll go to the first unused record and just give it a name. And that's the record we'll uh, present the next time we open up Add License. So we'll select our .xlsm file. Let's go to Spreadsheets. And there's the file we want to wrap. Nope, there it is. 
we'll select the ticket file, we'll select the icon file, we'll select the output folder where we want the uh, protected exe to go. And once we have all that information set up, we're going to want to fill in some other information uh, about the specific license. When we selected the license, it put the base name of the ticket file in the ticket folder. We'll also have to type in the version number and the security code, which you'll recall was defined in Quick License. We also need to fill in the security response and vendor code. That comes from the Quick License setup dialog. So we're gonna to have to launch Quick License and go to that setup dialog. First, we can grab the security response calculation by copying it into our clipboard and pasting that into that field. And let's also grab the vendor code. We can click on it. It puts it into our clipboard for us. And we'll quit at a quick license and then paste that vendor code into that field as well. So we have almost everything set up to protect our spreadsheet except from some specific options related to a spreadsheet. And we'll get to that by clicking the Options button and click on the Excel Spreadsheet button. We'll set the checkbox, Always Present the Open Data File dialog. And we, we're going to set a checkbox so we don't show the original encrypted data file. The user will just make copy, working copies of that data file. Uh, for each of the individual projects that they want to create and save data for, for our original spreadsheet document. So let's set some checkboxes for the buttons that we would like to appear in the user interface presented for this spreadsheet document. We'll click the new button, the clone, the rename, open, quit, and delete. And we can also click export and import. For now, we'll leave these other buttons unchecked. And once we've done that, we'll click OK. And finally, we'll click Build Protected Application. And after a moment, we can close our Add License window with all our changes automatically saved. And if we go to the Output folder, we see we now have a protected EXE that can be renamed to whatever we want and it's ready for distribution to our customer. When distributing your application to a customer, first instruct them on how to set up some options within the Excel program so that they can launch your application. If they go to the Office uh, button there, click on Excel Options, under the Trust Center location, bring up the Trust Center settings and make sure under Trusted Locations panel, the option is set for Allow Trusted Locations. There's a checkbox at the bottom. You'll want to set that checkbox. You'll also want to go to the Macro Settings panel and make sure Enable All Macros. Radio button is enabled. And then click OK out of the uh, Options dialog and quit Excel. When we launch the protected application on the customer's computer, the very first thing they're going to see is the activation dialog. In this case, we've chosen a manual activation process where a request number is shown in the dialog that's pr presented to the vendor and the vendor returns back an activation code to the customer to go ahead and activate that spreadsheet. So it's uh, now up and running. You might also want to apply a serial number based activation process uh, to that spreadsheet using an online activation server. 
So the very first thing the customer sees when they launch your application is the open data file dialog. The user clicks the new button to make a named copy of your uh, spreadsheet file. Let's call this Tom and perhaps they'll want another copy called John and finally we'll do a third one called Sue. We have three named copies of your original spreadsheet file where they can put their own data in for John, for Sue, and for Tom. So if we double click one of these or select it and click open, the uh, spreadsheet document is opened and it's ready for use by that customer. Let's make a few changes in this particular one. We'll change it to John. And we'll go ahead and close out of the spreadsheet file. And all those changes are saved. When the user launches your application again, they'll see that same open data file. And if they want to go back into that named copy called John, they can select it and click open. Or they can just double click it. And again, it opens up and they see all the changes that they previously made within that spreadsheet document. But they're unable to save an unprotected version of this spreadsheet out that can be distributed and used on other computers. Only computers that have been activated with your license will be able to use and edit these spreadsheet documents. Let's summarize what we've accomplished in this video. We started with an unprotected Excel spreadsheet saved as a .xlsm file. We pasted in some VBA code that comes with Office Protect into that spreadsheet and password protected the VBA code. We then launched the quick license application to find a product license and then opened the add license application to wrap that product license and the icon file of our choice plus set up some other Excel specific options within Ad License, and then finally we output a protected EXE that was distributed to the customer. On the customer's computer, the customer will first have to launch Excel and make sure some security options are enabled properly. Then they can launch the protected EXE, enable it with an activation code, and then they'll see the open data file dialog, which is the customer user interface for creating named copies of our original spreadsheet document where they can save their own data.